Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today we're gonna look at how much money I'm gonna be able to put into this uh, clear um, bank that I got. I'm having a hard time putting words together. So this is a bank that doesn't have a little stopper in the bottom. You can't get into it unless you break it. And this is where I'm going to put all of my change and then also my fives and ones. So I have some change here left over that I just scrounged <laughs> the bottom of my purse. So we have a dollar twenty-two that we're going to contribute. And I know this is going to be really loud and I'm sorry, but it's just one of those things that can't be helped. So definitely had some change left over. And now let's look in my binder. So this last week I had, um, the week before, I had a lot of fives and ones left over. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So this is accumulated over the last couple of weeks. Um, so this is definitely going into there, but let's see what um, I have in my envelopes. Uh, so I've got some money in my deposit here. So what I'm gonna be doing is, oh, there's fives and ones in there too. Yeah, let's do the fives and ones in here. So we have, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 50. So 250 here. This is going into a CD. Um, I have really been struggling with how best to keep my house savings um, where I can't get into it or I'm counting it every week so that, you know, I'm not spending it or dipping into it. And after talking to my dad, he also said CD is the way to go. So that's where this money is going. I already have one CD that I opened, and this is going to be the second. I still have $100 left uh, for groceries. My parents were in the hospital uh, this last week. Yeah, both of them. And so I didn't spend any money on groceries yet. Personal spending... I have $20 left. I want to say, yeah, I've got the other 20 in my phone right now. I've got one of the cases where it slides in the back and you can put like your driver's license back there and uh, debit card, things like that. And I do have the other 20 in there. So I actually have 40 left um, and I'm going to deposit this into the bank because I ordered some custom scripts custom script stickers from Romo Plans and I'm going to need this money back in the bank so that when they're done I can purchase them off of Etsy. So that's what's going to go towards spending and then for gas I spent 20 and I still have 20 left. I realize this is probably not in the best spot. So I got 20 left here. And of course, I still have $400 for rent. So one, two, three, four. Rent will be paid at the end of next week when I get paid next. House savings, ooh, this is also going in the bank. Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, so here's one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85. So this is also going back into the bank. So that's 750. This is going to be opened. I'm going to open a CD with all of this money. We'll organize it here in a second. Um, all right, so then next we have cleaning, and the cleaning ladies are actually not coming this time. Um, so this is also going into a CD, which I'm really excited about. Still have $20 for the trash bill, $20 for health. I think we've got 20 in here for Christmas. Yeah, 20 in here. Phone bill, 20. P 
P.O. Box. 20. Vacation has 20. Gifts has 20. Car insurance has 40. Car maintenance, 40. And fur babies has 40. I'm going to need to bulk this up because Daisy's going to get fixed um, here pretty soon. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be my CD money. I'm actually going to put this in the bank today after work, I think, because I need to get the CD purchased. So this is out uh, of my little bitty hands and into the bank where it will be earning some interest. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 820, 840, 850. $850 is what we're going to use to open up a CD. So that's really exciting. So now let's go back here because I added some more fives and ones. And these are all going to be added into my acrylic bank here. So here's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $55. Mm -hmm is what we're going to put in here. You know, I really, I don't want to kick myself in the butt too much, but last year I really did not, I didn't do so well with my finances. I should have been able to save a lot of money and, you know, it just didn't happen. You know, I moved, Chewy passed away, you know, we had vet bills and vet bills um, I definitely overspent and, and dipped into my emergency fund because I was just trying to, oh, you know, I, it was basically retail therapy um, while I was grieving. And because of that, I just didn't, I just don't have anything to show for it, which really sucks. And then, of course, you know, we become really overwhelmed here with all this stuff in the house and we're de-junking and purging and um, I can definitely see how the things that I purchased really didn't bring any value. So, you know, for 2024, my goal is just to be more intentional with my money and to stick with the plan and, um, and work towards house savings because I have about, I have 18 months left on my lease and, at the end of my lease, I really want to purchase a home. Um, I've been looking at modular homes, and if I go that route or with a mobile home, I'm not picky. I just want something of my own. And um, tiny house, anything like that is fine with me. I'm really not picky. I don't need a lot of room. Um, I just want something that's going to last me, you know, until I retire and um, a little bit of land just so I can get out and grow some veggies and spend a little bit more time outdoors. Um, and I don't want to spend a lot of money doing it. And actually, I was looking at a property that just sold up the road from where I'm at right now. It was eight acres with a mobile home on it, and it sold for 156 And I was like, oh, I mean, the timing isn't right, but that would have been just perfect because Carol Ann and I definitely want to live on the same property. And I think my son also wants to come live on the same property <laughs> with his family. And that would just be awesome to have everybody, you know, uh, next door to each other so we can, you know, be there for one another definitely being single. Um, I just turned 49 in December and I definitely don't want to be one of those old people who doesn't have family around and is, you know, passes away. Nobody finds their body for like several days and the cats have eaten my face. <laughs> I know that's kind of morbid, but it's true. You know, I want to I want to live close to family so that, you know, we're we're interacting with each other, you know, daily and um 
and that way if anything were to happen I have somebody nearby that you know can help out but that you know that's the dream and um, in central Arkansas housing prices are still high here um, just like it is everywhere else in the country and interest rates suck but um, the one thing that I'm looking forward to is that I'm hoping that by the time I'm ready to purchase something the prices will be um, will be down interest rates will be down and I can get more for my money at least that that is my hope but definitely you know the goal this year is just to stay on track stop spending my money and that's why these banks I got two of the small ones and I gave one to Carol Ann um, and then I got one bigger one that hasn't come in yet um, that and they don't they don't open up so I can't get into it the only way to get into it is to break it so and I'm not going to do that just like a CD I was talking to my mom about this she's you know she said well you could cash it out if you really wanted to get to it and I said that's just the thing is I won't you know if it kind of like my Roth IRA I'm not tapping into that money because it's already, you know, I've already purchased shares with it. You know, it's already in, you know, an account that, you know, I can't transfer money from it to, you know, my checking. And I just won't do that. So, same with the, the CD. I'm, I'm not going to dip into it because it has consequences. I lose the interest and that would really stink. I do want to um, have a $1,000 mini emergency fund in cash, though. I really want to do that um, and just keep that in my binder. And then everything else, have it in CDs. So that, that is the plan. And I need to go ahead and do it while I have the money and not, uh, not stall. You know, now I'm using Ally. I have Ally CDs, and my plan is when I do kind of check ins is to uh, do some, I don't know, go into the Ally account and print out, you know, the CDs and maybe create um, like a little card to keep in my in my binder just so. I can refer back to it. At least that that's kind of what I had in mind. Because I, I don't want to, I probably won't show you the account. Because the interest, I did notice that it does accrue, like it's accruing right now, but I won't get the interest until it, it matures. At least that's my understanding of CDs. All right, guys, well, we have all of our ones and fives and change in this acrylic box. Again, I'm going to the bank to deposit the cash in this envelope. I'm gonna purchase a CD with it. It'll be a 12-month CD. I wanna say that Ally, their 12-month uh, CDs, it's like 5.15 or 5.25%, something like that. That's what I'm gonna do, um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel, and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.